G'day mates, welcome to the bedroom, or as I like to call it, the workshop. It's where I do all my best work, if you know what I mean. Now today I thought I'd run you through some of the best sleeping positions for those of you that have sleep apnea. Use one of these things, a CPAP machine. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, if I'm sleeping in one position too long, I become uncomfortable, restless, I need to change positions throughout the night, and I'm sure you're the same. So it would be unfair of me to look down the lens at you and say, stay off your back, only sleep on your left hand side, it's unrealistic. It's very natural to change positions throughout the night, and I want you to do the same, but I also want you to be aware that some positions are better than others. All right, let's go through them. So we've got sleeping on your back, we call that supine, left, right, and on your stomach. And obviously there's different variations of those sleeping positions, but they're the ones we'll discuss today. Starting with supine sleeping, when you're sleeping on your back. Now, unfortunately, this is the worst sleeping position for those of you with sleep apnea. And the reason being, when we lie down flat, what happens? We have the full weight of gravity our jaw pushing backwards, our tongue falling back into our throat. So the airway, which is all, already restricted, has the full weight of gravity just pushing everything back. Our neck, if we've got a big neck, all that tissue, that fat tissue is just compressing everything there. Now I'm fully aware that for some of you, sleeping on your back is your only option. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can do it right. Now many of you have heard before that you need to elevate your head when you're sleeping on your back. And most of you will go out and buy a bigger pillow, a nice big firm pillow. That's not right. So if we have a nice big pillow like this one here, and we're lying flat on our back, our body's flat, but this big pillow, all it does is push our head up forward and compress our airway, making it harder to breathe. Yeah, it's squishing everything in. What we need to do is get a gentle elevation. All right, like this. And there's a few ways you can do it. Many of you use this sort of thing. It's a wedge pillow. Now what I like to do, even this here, I, I feel like it still makes my neck come in like that. So I get another pillow. That's much better. This angle here is 10 times better than being flat on your back with a big kink in your neck, okay? It's a nice gentle elevation from my toes up to my head. Now another option you can do, <laughs> I got this from Clark Rubber, it was $60 on special. It's just like a, a foam camping mattress. And what you can do is this, I just bend it down, lift up the mattress, Arrgh! like that. Okay, now I can use a lower profile pillow. And once again, now I've got a gentle incline. Now I know this doesn't look like a, a big angle here, a big increase, but the truth is you don't need a big increase to change the effects of gravity. Gravity is stronger than you think. Think about it like this. How much easier is it walking down a slight decline versus up a slight incline? All right, so you don't need to change the angle by much for it to make a big difference to your therapy. Now, there are some benefits to sleeping on your back. Think about this. When you're on your back, you get a much better mass seal. Because when you're on your side, the pillow squishes into your face, pushes your cheeks. It's much more likely to disturb that mass seal. So that's one of the benefits. The other benefit is this. If we sleep on our back with a slight incline, it helps drain all the mucus from our sinuses. So everything inside your sinus here, normally when you're sitting straight up, gravity helps it drain. It drains down the back of your throat and into your stomach. When you're lying flat, the reason you get congested a lot when you first lie down, you know, you find during the day, you lie down and straight away you're like, mm, my nose is blocked, what happened? I was fine two minutes ago. The main reason is this, when you lie down flat on your back, you no longer have gravity helping to drain all your sinus down into your stomach. So just this slight angle here, everything now is sort of angled down again, right? Like I said, gravity is stronger than you think, and the gravity, even this slight angle from my head, 
it's angled down, it's gonna help drain the sinuses, which will make it easier to breathe for you. So great tip guys, just try and get yourself on a nice little bit of an angle. It's gonna make the world of difference to those of you sleeping on your back, but also for those of you on your side as well. You can do this and still sleep on your side as well. Get to the side of the, the pillow like this, sleep on the edge here, you're on a bit of an angle here, um, and it will help, it really will. All right, moving on, sleeping on your side, left versus right. The one thing I'll tell you straight up, if you're someone who has GERD, acid reflux, heartburn, that sort of thing, you wanna avoid sleeping on your right hand side as much as you can. So sleep on your left hand side. When it comes to apnea control, I've read studies that say sleeping on your left is better. I've read some studies that say sleeping on your right is better. My advice to you is just do what's comfortable, okay? Um, if you're sleeping on your side, left hand side here, what I find is comfortable is I like to put a pillow between my legs like so, a little cuddle pillow. My wife calls it my cuddle pillow. I don't cuddle her much anymore, only in the mornings. <laughs> so just put a pillow like this between your legs. And I, I think it's best to get to the side of the pillow so that your face isn't, you know, distorted. You want to sort of get to the edge of the pillow like so. So this is, this is perfect for me, like this. Legs slightly bent, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this sleeping position. Um, but like I said, stay off your right if you're someone who gets acid reflux and GERD. And last of all, sleeping on your stomach. Sleeping on your stomach is totally fine for snoring and sleep apnea. Some people find it a little harder to breathe because of the compression of the chest from the weight of the body onto the mattress. However, if you're comfortable, go for your life. Now, if you are a stomach sleeper, I highly recommend you check out the masks that have the top of the head connection where the tube connects. This one here is a P30i. We've also got an N30i here, very similar, but the cradle instead of the pillow. And Resmit also make the F30i, which is the full face mask. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. As always, sleep well, whatever position you're in, look after your mates and I'll see you soon, bye. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.